Hello everybody, it's Danny and Wanda back from Deep South Homestead. Guys, today we want to talk to you just a little bit about the two high tunnels that are behind us here. Now both of these high tunnels came from Grower Solutions. Uh, they are a 16 by 36. They're two identical high tunnels. The only difference between the two is the shade cloth that's on them. One has a 40% black shade cloth, one has a 40% white shade cloth. And the biggest difference that we found with the two shade cloths is that both of them, the food grows pretty well, the plants do well, but the white one tends to be at least five degrees hotter in the summertime than the black one. So overall, I guess we prefer the black. We prefer the black over the white, yeah. yes. But the white lets in more sunlight. Yes. And so now, if you're up north in a cooler climate, yeah. the white may be perfect for you. Mm -hmm. uh, now, what the stuff that we talk about is for the deep south down yes. here. Now, we have grown an assortment of different things in these high tunnels and done it an assortment of different ways. We've grown everything from grapes to bananas, to damn pumpkins, pumpkins, asparagus, strawberries, green beans, uh, onions, tears beans, uh, English peas on trellises, ginger. I grew popcorn. Uh, popcorn, <laughs> turmeric. However you say that. Turmeric. Uh, um, just an assortment. Flowers of all kinds. Uh, mm -hmm. This one does uh, pepper plants. Uh, We've actually overwintered pepper plants for several years. You grew big onions in there. Remember uh, the big onions? Yeah, the big the big onions, uh, which they said could not be done. We did. And we've grown English peas. We grew tomatoes throughout the whole winter. We yes. had we had red tomatoes in December. You know. So you can grow in a high tunnel. You don't necessarily have to have one as big as ours, or you can have one bigger. Grower Solutions has a supply from really small um i don't remember the I don't size even, I don't but remember it's a real little. small one uh under a thousand bucks for the smaller one all the way up to i think what a hundred foot long oh yeah you can get them up to 90 to 100 feet long so any size and you can grow your own food and they're having a black friday sale yes they are and it will begin uh november 3rd mm -hmm. and will go through the first of december and we have a code that if you use that code, you get a hundred dollar gift card. Is that what that's what you're getting? And you can get free shipping if it's over twenty five hundred subtotal at checkout. Yeah. And the only way now there, the code that you use is Deep South uh, B, the letter B, and the letter F. That code must be used before at, checking out. Before you check out. Once you check out, it is no good. Yes. So and make sure you get that part down. Yes. We're going to be offering over on Patreon a five hundred dollar gift card from Growers Solution. And now, the reason for that is YouTube tends to the bots hit us really heavy if we yeah. start anything with the the words with the words you know give and, give and away on it uh, they kind of hit us big time and we haven't done anything special for our patrons in a while so we thought this is the perfect opportunity to bless one of our patrons over on patreon and so we will be uh, sending somebody a $500 gift card and the details will come out later over yes. on Patreon. With what's going on in the world today, and y'all know how hard it is to grow anything, uh, these high tunnels have, have proven to me and Wanda that it's pretty simple to grow something in them. The biggest issue you have to learn with them is fertilization, uh, maintaining the heat and the temperatures. Now, the one of the key things you want to think about if you purchase one of these is how are you going to get rid of the heat? Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. Now we use automatic openers on the top of mine, right up here is automatic opener. It's a wax filled cylinder that literally when it reaches, I have that set at 85 degree or 87, I'm sorry, I have it set at 87. And at 87 degrees, they automatically start opening up and the heat just rushes out the side. When you roll up the sides here, the heat just goes out the top and it gets out of there. Now you can go, you do need the uh, uh, circulating fans that go around on the inside of them. It helps to keep down humidity, uh, it helps with pollination. There's lots of different things it helps with by keeping the air. There's a vortex that forms in the top of this thing. Cuts down on condensation, uh, humidity, things to this nature. That is really a necessity. Now, you can go as far as to buy the big, huge fan from Grower Solution. I think it's four foot by four foot. We have that on the end of Ms. Wanda's down here. Yeah. That has an electric, uh, you probably can't see it, but hers has an louver system on this end down here that if you've got electricity there, that when the fan comes on, the louvers automatically open up on the other end of the greenhouse and it pulls the heat out of the top of it. But it does sound like a freight train. It sounds like an airplane taking off. But, <laughs> you know, if you don't mind that. And plus, if you get in there and get hot, you can always go outside because the wind blowing on you out there is tremendous. It's a good way to cool off standing yeah. in front of it. It's a good way. But there's lots of positive things. Now, this one here that you're looking at, these end walls are not from Grower Solutions. These are my own created end walls. I used to design and build end walls for greenhouses, for nurseries. And uh, after hurricanes, these are the ones that I designed and built here. This is not part of the grower solution. So if you see this, this is not theirs. This is ours. Just yeah. up front. I want to let but you know they that. Do, um, you do get the um, end walls, the roll-up sides. You, you have to talk to a representative and tell them all the things you want. Like the end walls are plastic with a door in the middle. And then the roll-up handle thingies on here and all this and if you want the shade cloth you tell them what percentage and all this and they will figure a price and a quote for you and they did say three to five weeks turnaround so that's um, pretty quick you could have it christmas or a little after yeah guys if you'll hang around with us a little bit in this video right here to the end of it here we're going to show you a surprise and i think that uh i think you'll enjoy it so, yeah, we kind of mentioned it over on the live stream Saturday yeah. night, so the surprise is coming. Yeah, we have a surprise coming, but next what we want to do, I want to mention something else about these high tunnels is, there's a big issue with growing in high tunnels that I think that most people have a misconception about. They go and buy these potting soils, and they put all these compost, and they put all this stuff into these containers, and they think that, well, everything is there that we need in this container. Well, Grower Solutions now offers a soil test kit where you can test your soil. So what we've decided to do is we've purchased one of these kits. We're going to go over to Pecan Grove and we're going to take one of our containers over there that we have setting out and we're going to actually do a soil sample from a container rather than from out in the fields because not everybody has land to grow in like we do and most people grow in containers or raised beds and all that now so what we're going to do is if you're not sure about what we amended the containers with you can go back and watch the video of where we fill the containers and we planted the seeds in them and you'll see what we put in it we're going to do the soil test on that send it off and when it comes back we're going to share with you guys the results of the nutrients that's in those containers and what we have to add to make those containers come up to the perfect growing medium for vegetables. I think this is a fantastic opportunity for people who grow in containers and they don't have really good success with their plants. They grow something but it's not ever really what you dreamed of it being. This soil test will help you to know what's missing out of your containers and help you to get your nutrients and your pH up where it needs to be so that you can grow optimal, the optimal amount of vegetables or fruits from a container. And the soil test is not only for containers. You can no. use it on raised beds, 
Um, you can use it on your gardens out and your fruit trees, wherever you need yes. a soil test. This soil test is for that. We just opted to use it on a container this time to show you the results in about two weeks, I think. I think it's about, yeah, they said about a two week turn. And all the um, videos I will link in uh, the cards up here and I'll try to put them in, in links in the description where we constructed these two greenhouses ourselves it didn't take anybody but me and no. Danny uh, on mine I think my son come and helped you a little while but other yep. than that it was just the two of us you can see how easy it was for us to put that together and then we will have lots of videos of us growing food over the last three years in both high tunnels yes so Let's go over to Pecan Grove, guys, and let's take a soil sample, and let's see how it turns out. We made it over to Pecan Grove. Uh, this is the soil test kit that I was talking about right here. It's called My Soil from uh, Grower Solutions. Now, it says here on the front of it, it's ideal for lawns and turfs, ornamental landscapes, organic gardening, compost and bulk mixes, soilless media, trees and shrubs as well as food plots now here i'm going to read you off some of the things that they're going to be testing for because see, that's one of the things when you send off a soil test you need to know up front what they're testing for most places only test for npk and that's it these test for a lot of different stuff first off it's going to be your ph then it's going to be your nitrogen which is your n your phosphorus, which is your P, and your potassium, which is your K. Now, they do the same as all the other soil tests, but they also test for calcium, magnesium, sulfur, iron, manganese, boron, copper, zinc, and most of all, guys, the one thing that you want to test for is sodium. You want to know if there is any salt in your soil. Because if you use commercial fertilizers, you have to really keep an eye on that. So that's the test, you know, the things that they, uh, you know, that they test for. Whenever you order this kit from Grower Solutions, when you pay for it, that's all you have to pay. From that point forward, you will get the test kit in the mail. You will take your soil sample, and when you open it up on the inside, there is an envelope in here that's already prepaid everything you will send that off your test in that to get your results back now you'll get your results online as well as in the written form a little bit later now, it takes six to eight days to get this uh, back now a lot of you may wonder is this a Chinese made product right there in the upper corner it says made in the USA so let's do the soil test now what you want to do is you want to take a sample if you're doing it in a garden or in a field you want to take a sample from like six or seven different places in the field down about anywhere from the top of the soil to six or seven inches deep you want to get, take your little container and I, I have a solo cup a clean solo cup and you want to be able to take you a container and you want to dig down and get you a little bit of all those samples and you want to mix them together and just kind of stir them up and then you want to be able to get your soil test out of that. But now we're going to be doing containers. Now those of you who watched us do the containers know that we mixed every container exactly the same. Every one of them has exactly the same kind of soil in it. So there's no need in me going to all the containers to get a soil sample kit from because a test because they're all the same. So I'm going to take two right here and I've got my I got a little trial and I'm going to just dig down like on this side of the pot. I'm going to put a little bit in the cup. I'm going to dig down over here on this side. I'm going to put some in the cup and I'll just go around doing this and I may even dig down a little bit deeper to do. I mean it's really a simple thing to do. Now you just want to take and you just want to mix this all together really, really good. The main thing is you want to make sure that there's no clumps or anything like that in it. 
you want it to just be nice good dirt compost potting soil whatever you have available there in it I'm gonna chop this all up now once you get that done I'll take mine and I just kind of that way I know that I've got it mixed up now inside your kit is gonna look like this on the inside of it you're gonna have a thing called my soil and it's gonna have some clean water and it's gonna have a pod or a little capsule in it don't pour that out and then you're gonna have a little plastic scoop now what you want to do you want to undo this lid it has a seal on it there for all of you who don't know don't let your water spill out now I'm gonna set it back in the hole in the thing there and I'm gonna take this scoop and what you want is one level scoop full just like just one level scoop full and you want to take that and you want to dump it in that solution right there then you want to put your lid back on it make sure it seals good make sure there's no trash on the rim of it now that we have our stuff in here make sure now like I remember I told you do not take out the pod that's in there or the water make sure you leave both of those in there mix the soil in with it make sure the lid is on good and tight because you're gonna be putting this in an envelope mailing it and guys that's all there is to it now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this is this is a prepaid envelope it's in bubble wrap you just gonna stick this down in here like so you are gonna peel the back off of this stick it down put it in the mail and mail it and then wait six to eight days for your results and guys we're going to see what these containers shows now okay guys this kit right here what we're going to do we're going to bless some people at deep south homestead with some of these test kits so be sure that you comment leave us a comment down below and Wanda and I next Monday will go through we will go through after this video we will go through the comments and next Monday the video that comes out we will announce the people there that we bless and if you do not contact me within 24 hours of the time that video goes up I will choose someone else to bless I'm not going to hunt you down if you can't watch the video then don't comment saying you might be interested so Wanda and I have have decided that we want to bless some people so we're going to do that at Deep South Homestead so guys now for another surprise come on let's go see what the next surprise is well guys we are standing at the site some of you guys guessed a cabin some of you guessed you know all kinds of different pecan things. shellers a pecan yeah well uh, that was a good idea pecan shellers uh they also guessed uh illegals yeah pigs uh no animals no pecan nope. sheller. Nope. And no cabin. <laughs> no cabin. Uh, how sad that is. But and 
They asked would we uh, move the cabin, and no, that's out no, of the question, that too. that can't be done either, uh, mainly because of size and taking down so much timber and all that kind of stuff. It just wouldn't On work. On both properties. Yeah, plus going down the road with it. I mean, it's too tall. Uh, but Most what, of them got it right. A lot of y'all got it right because behind me back here is a pad for what you see sitting in the background here. You have to back up, Miss Wanda. You're hiding half of it. There you go. Oh, there's the other half? Yeah. That right there is a new, from Grower Solutions, 24 by 60 high tunnel to go over here at Pecan Grove. We've had so much success with the 16 by 36s, two of them, over at uh, Deep South Homestead that we thought over here we would try to do a bigger, larger one because we had the room to do it. Yeah. And we had another place actually picked out on the property but we believe it's better for sweet potatoes. And so we chose this site right here. The barn know? is right here. Yeah, the barn is right and, over there. Uh, some of but, you said something about water and water catchment and different things like that, and that we might be putting a new well down. But there's a well right yeah, here. Yeah, the well is right here and beside the us. The power's right here, so we can get here. We did the well and power first. If you go back and watch some of our videos, um, we did that because the barn is right here, and we needed. Uh, and there's no the water. To the, well, there's no water for the cows. Yeah, they needed water. And and the the cows had to have water. So, well, there was a little old two-inch well up here by the barn, but it's not sufficient enough to provide enough water for cattle. And that right out there is going to be a, a field shortly. We're going to fence it in. Yep. And it won't pump water from up there to here. So we centrally located a well. Yeah, the well is kind of middle ways of this whole pasture operation behind us back here now we will be fencing this off so that the cows will not have access right here <laughs> they won't have access where the wells at or anything to that nature and uh i think that uh i think it's going to work out really really well here because uh here we can have everything automated kind of like what we wanted at deep south but at deep south we just uh they, the, the high tunnels are fine but they're narrow we needed that extra footage where we can get around at our age. You know, we wanted to be able to make it a little bit more easy on us. And we and, like the tractor being able to go in and take things yes. in and out. That When we did the 24 by, what was it, 32? 32. 32. Uh, Danny can run his tractor in and out. I can take yeah. the Ranger in and out. Now, if we get things in the middle, no, we can't. Right. So, but we can put them in from the middle out, and that saves us having to tote things, shove things, push yeah. things. Yeah, so we we got a roll of ground cover back here. It come from Grower Solutions. We're gonna be putting down ground cover first. We'll, once we get it laid off, we'll put the ground cover down, staple it all down. Then we'll be taking our little torch and burning the holes in it where the pipes go. And uh, from we that point- We have videos on all this already. Yeah, we so already we're have... gonna link those and so we already have done three and we filmed two of them. We might have filmed some of the third one. I don't know if we did or not because I, I put the third remember. one together by myself. Yeah, basically. he pretty much did it by himself, a 24 yeah, a by 32. A 24 by 32. I almost did it. One, the only thing she really did was, was drove me around on the tractor to drive the pipes. Yeah. <laughs> but the rest of it, me and her pulled the plastic over it. Mm -hmm. But basically the rest of it I built by myself. So these are not hard to do. No. You can get a small one up to a large one. According, you just go down, check out Grower Solution. If you use during November the 3rd, Third. through December the 1st, yes. you get a $100 gift card. It'll be sent to you after you check out. Then, if you spend $2,500 yes, $2, subtotal at checkout, you will get free shipping. And that's only in the, I'll put all the information down in the description so you can read it and know before you even go there. But there'll be a lot of, like, only in the 48 states and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, they're only shipping the lower 48. So. Well, guys, that's it. You know, I hope that you was able to uh, come along with us and enjoy all the new stuff that we're doing. And uh, hopefully uh, the Lord will be kind to us. And we will be able we'll to get make these. a couple these. of guys to help. Yeah, I'm going to have to get a couple of guys to help me because I'm getting older, people. I mean, good Lord. This time, there's going to be some help. Yeah, I'm, I've got a lot of I got a lot of injuries. Y'all know I messed my knee up and I've got, I've got a bad neck. And, you know, 
Uh, this got some one eye problems. A lot more than the and, others. Yeah, this one's a lot bigger and longer and stuff like that. So I'm gonna probably have to bring in some help from some different people uh, to at least get it up. Now and a lot the, of it. The plastic on it. Yeah, That's the gonna plastic's the gonna biggest. be the big deal. And driving the pipes because of my neck and my eyes, I can't do a lot of driving. So anymore. I hope to get some of that on at least some pictures, if not video. Yeah. So I'll be looking for it in the future. Um, also, remember to comment if, because um, we are going to be blessing a few people with the soil samples. Yes. Don't forget to comment now. Thank you guys from Deep South Homestead.